Vikings from Scandinavia crossed the sea to raid undefended monasteries in Ireland, Scotland and England in the late 8th and early 9th centuries, returning home with their booty. But by the middle of the 9th century, they'd begun to stay in England over winter. And in 865 AD, they assembled a great army capable of conquest. They were intent on establishing a permanent presence in England. They chose York as their base, capturing the town in 866. For the Vikings, York was an unusual and successful experiment in urban living. As well as houses and workshops, the town had rudimentary sanitation in the form of very basic outside loos. And I know for a fact there's one infamous artefact in the Jorvik Viking Center that preserves a lot of detail about everyday life here a thousand years ago. Oh, this is fantastic. All these wonderful finds from the Coppergate excavations. And such a range. Look at those shoes over there. Fantastic. We're getting very close to the lives of individual people. But I want to get even closer to one individual and one specific moment in their life. And this is a really famous find. Christine, hello, hello, hello. hello. Nice hello. To meet you. So this is, um, this is a find. Do people gravitate towards this oh, find? Oh, they do indeed. They do indeed. Particularly the children, I have to say. Do they? So let's just take out the case. I can kind of excuse myself, um, perhaps an unhealthy fascination with this, because I did used to be a medical doctor. I can take it out, yes, can I, Christine? Can. And I lift this out. Very carefully. Now, this is an extremely important and beautiful object. This is a Viking poo. Isn't that extraordinary? I mean, first of all, it's amazing that it's a Viking poo and it survived in all its glory. Most of the faecal matter at Coppergate was all kind of mixed together in cesspits, but this poo this rose from the ashes or rose from the sludge of Coppergate, completely pristine after a thousand years. And it's quite important because it means we can have a look at it and we can tell something about the parasites that Vikings had living in their guts, the intestinal worms. There are at least two varieties of parasitic worms in here. And we can also tell something about the diet, very high fibre diet. You can kind of get that from the size of it as well. I mean, that is an eye-wateringly large poo, isn't it? And I imagine if we were still able to get DNA out of it, we might even be able to tell what Viking gut flora was like. 